you can just toggle or something if that's better. Because as I said, I'm really limited right now. So like, if you have something to say, you can just toggle on or something. Just unmute, switch or something. If it echoes really bad. Really weird. The comp on the right. Whose comp's on the right? Oh, eternal planet. Okay. Yeah, that's a weird comp. So, uh, because like, usually with um, like if he bans like Utsuro, doesn't he just doesn't he just lose? Like A two Cyanite and Takoyo is not really playable, right? Oh, okay. Uh, this looks more reasonable. But well, anyway, you still just ban Obero, and it's the same problem. The A two Cyanite and Takoyo don't really work super well together, at least on their um, at least on A one Cyanite's alternate. Uh, I mean, is that good? I mean, with Takoyo? Nah, I don't know. Like, you don't get to use the one three. Isn't that kind of like the bread and butter? I don't know. I think he just bans Obro here. I think the Eternal Peanut should ban. Um, damn, that's tricky. Actually, they're all pretty reasonable. Maybe Yatsu, huh? Um, Mizuki's not terribly disruptive to Takoyo usually. Um, just I mean, obviously Bulwark sucks, but I mean Bulwark sucks against everybody besides like anti-reaction comps. So. Maybe Yatsuha, I think, is the play on for Eternal. And I think Jay should probably ban either Takoyo or Oboro. I don't think you ban Sine A2 here. Yeah, if he does opt for the Oboro, which is kind of my gut instinct of what to ban here. Um, let's see what Eternal chooses. As I said, I think the one that you don't really want to ban is Mizuki. But that's I don't think Mizuki is super disruptive here. Let's see what he opts for. Do you know where Jay's based? Oh, he's in Florida, actually, isn't he? I think he messaged me he was in Florida. Uh, is he reading all the cards? I respect it. Need to make sure you understand all the cards. Just don't ban Mizuki. If he comes to the conclusion he bans Mizuki here, I'm going to be sad. But, um, yeah, so, like, I guess the range, they're going to be sharing a lot of range contention um, with your two um, characters they have locked in. But since the Koyo has a bit more space control, I think it's a little bit easier to avoid the Obero, especially on the reshuffle with Rabbit Step. Um, Yatsuha is a little bit more of a pain in the ass. So he kind of has to decide who's going to ban Yatsuha here. Since the Koyo ban, um, didn't really, he's not going to ban Takoyo, so I think Yatsu has probably a fine ban here, is what I would go towards. But Obero obviously exerts a lot of pressure, but I don't feel like Mizuki does too much in this matchup. I mean, because you have the um, Takoyo to kind of knock out, um, if he times it right, the um, the all out, if you reacted to an attack last turn. Um, I think it's pretty decent. But other than that, I just think Yatsu has the ban here. I think it just kind of, as I said, burns through um, Takoyo's kind of whole gimmick. And it's just a really nasty presence and the contention of range with Takoyo as well as um, Sine A2. Um, I think that's what we should opt for. Obviously, um, pretty aggressive um, decks on Jay's side. Um, Mizuki offers a little bit of control, but it definitely leans more towards the Aggressive side, I guess, for Sakura, I mean, we counter offensive would be the word. 
on their turn, use the react and then hit hard on their turn. I think the theme's fine, but yeah, I really don't think he should handshake this Yatsu, huh? Looks like he's between Mizuki and Obero. He does opt for Obero. Okay. Yeah, this is going to be a really hard now. I think Yatsuha and the Takoyo is really favorable for the Yatsuha. So he's going to have to approach the matchup in a, a different way than just shutting down. Um, you can still shut down the Mizuki here, but obviously I'm, I'm assuming Jay's going to pack both of the um, the big attacks on Yatsuha's side. No reason not to. Um, I feel in this comp, the, the sign A 1-3 is kind of a dead card. Looks like he's going on Mortal Flower and Migrant. Um, I think that's okay. I think he should definitely go Perpetual Wind. Um, I don't know how good a Mortal Flower is in this matchup. Migrant's kind of a weird card. I think it's okay. I think it's like generally okay, but I think he does need a finisher. I think Wind is definitely good here. Wind and Arc are probably the two big ones. If you want to go bold, he goes Fan Sign A's final stage. To counter the t um, the the three one from Mizuki constant spam, um, see so yeah, I don't know if he's gonna opt for that though, but you definitely need a finisher here. So I think Immortal Flower is. I think Wind is definitely a big bring though. I think it's a very good card to bring in this matchup. So it looks like Jay locking in the um, that's the reflection finisher, isn't it? It's hard to see from here. Um, but let's see. So he does bring in the cancel. I can see that. But yeah, I think matchup wise, it is rather favored towards Jay. But yeah, he brings the cancel. Yep, locking in both Yatsuha attacks. The all-out attack. Ooh, I don't know how I feel about that one win against Script a Soldier. I don't know how good that is. And he's bringing the two um, Yatsuha reactions. Very interesting. Looks like he's going to hit... Looks like he's going to take... A... Oh, no, he didn't bring the 1-1 one -one attack. He brought the Bulwark. Okay, they have the same art. Um, what are the two specials that Jay has locked in right now? I know one of them is the, um, okay, so it is the finisher and the cancel. Okay. Yep. I have Quash is, Quash okay here? Uh, let me think. Quash? I don't know. For my limited testing with uh, Mizuki and watching it, I don't feel like Quash ever gets good value. Unless, like, you have a lot of close range attacks, like R2, R3 attacks. But, like, if not, like, usually your opponent's going to back up and hit, right? Like, every time they're going to go for these attacks. So I actually don't know how good Quash is. But yeah, I do think that Eternal should definitely be bringing Wind against... Wind is just, like, generally good against Mizuki to knock out some of the counters. I think it's a missed opportunity. But yeah, Flower... I mean, he's kind of lacking a finisher as well. Or unless he brought Arc. Um, what are the three specials he's brought on uh, Eternal's side? Uh, we have um, Flower, Migrant, and I don't know what that is. Is that the Terminal one? I think it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah, this is really odd. He really needs a finisher here. Oh, Lord. Yeah, this is going to be really hard for him. Holy moly. This is not going to be easy for the peanut here. But let's see how it plays out. Um, Kind of interested in Jay bringing the two Yatsuha reactions. But I'm sure it makes sense. Looking to set up uh, bigger hits on the um, on the reflection uh, based attack. Um, it's gonna I think is how he's gonna be able to achieve a lead. Um, he brought out class, swing rash, crystal. I mean, these are all fine. Um, definitely, I definitely think the outclass is a pretty good bring. Swing rash is generally good in Sine. Wavering crystal is. It's okay. 
I don't know how good it is. Um, usually Waving Crystal is good for matchups that you really get hugged a lot. And I don't necessarily think Jay needs to hug him because a lot of his attacks are like R4. Is when he's going to be unleashing his big attack. I mean, Waving Crystal is like generally good. Yeah, I really don't like this 1-3. Um, I think it's going to be hard for him to get the aura damage that he needs for the 1-3 to actually work. Um, because obviously if he plays it, he's always just going to take it to aura, of course, unless he has zero aura. And it's very difficult for him to get that aura destruction off. Although Eternal Migrant does help with that, it feels weird dedicating a whole special to do like free life damage in addition to just having the card. And also just to say if he just hit all lines up. Um, would have really liked to have seen a rhythmic arc or some sort of a finisher to really achieve um, what he got, what he needed. Because I think it's going to be really hard to finish him off. Um, while Jay, of course, has, uh, I would say, rather traditional specials with um, the cancel and the big attack from Yatsuha Reflection Special. Um, but yeah. I don't think we're going to see anything crazy here. Um, the only weird thing is, I don't know if he brought it. Um, Mizuki can rip the um, the throughout the conscript three times in the opener, which is you don't something you don't see a ton. But I don't know if he brought it. Um, it's been mixed opinions about the card. I think I think the card's fine. Um, but I know a lot of people don't like to bring it in their Mizuki decks. But I don't know if he brought it. Probably just gonna F one here. Oh, it's A one. Interesting. A one. A two. Mm, looks like he's trying to close the gap as soon as possible. I mean, I guess that makes sense. Um, he is, I would consider, the aggressor in the matchup because he doesn't have Decoyo on his team. So that automatically makes him want to play aggressively. I don't think he needed to play this way. I think he could have gone for a slower approach, but I think it is a little bit about personal preference as well. Um, accelerating the match by A2 versus stalling it out um, could be considered decent here. Um, is at least the, the thought that he had. Um, I definitely don't think it's uh, wrong. It's just something um, different to go for, uh, for a more um, the like, uh, faster-paced match here. Uh, in terms of discarding all of his cards and Vigor to approach, this is a little odd, of course. Because um, now on his next turn, he, he just kind of walked in. He got to her and whoa! Jay with the card dragging instead of hitting two over his deck. Very unique tech there. But yeah, um, luckily it doesn't look like Jay. I think Jay only has one of the attacks. So he isn't going to get too brutalized. Um, looks like he's going to try to mirror the um, the flare um, here, I'm assuming. But yeah, uh, Eternal here moving up with not really a whole lot of tools is kind of suspect. But we'll see how this plays out. He does have a slight flare advantage. Um, thinking about, look, as I said, I think he is going to try to mirror the flare here because he, he's probably going to try to go for a triple um, reflection if he can get it. Um, I'm not super familiar with what the Yatsuha reaction does. I know you can choose the way... I know one of them you can choose the way it resolves. The other one kind of is more static. Um, but yeah, I'm not 100% sure what that Yatsuha special does. Or not special, on um, reaction. Looks like... Oh, he's going to discard it. Oh, no. Discard the bulwark? Okay. Ah, he's not sure. Okay, this is, this is a card that I expected to discard. Um, just so he can really line up the attack here. So F2 here. And uh, oh, yep, F two. So now he has two reflections. Whoa, that was not the right special. Oh, we did bring turret. Okay, this is why he's doing this. I didn't know he brought the turret. So this is a three one. This is where like Sinai's final stage could have been an interesting bring here to counter this sort of style. Once he hits five flare, it becomes risky. See, Eternal Peanut should take this to life. It's really risky. Okay. I mean, life is mirrored, right? It'll be a 3 2. It'd have to take the um, 2 to life, which isn't ideal. Bit of lag coming now.
He does opt to take it to Aura, though. Which, I don't think he's actually going to get punished for. I don't think he has the Yatsuha attack in his hand. Looks like both of them are on the bottom. I'm pretty sure he brought both of them, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, if he's going to opt for this, then he definitely needs to close the gap, I think. Um, oh, I... I can't see what card that is. What card? Oh, that is the oh that is the um the mirror one. Okay, so he gets two reflections here. Uh, I couldn't see that. So yeah, this makes a lot of sense. This is a three three now. So he's gonna take all this to life, and I don't, there's nothing he can do about it. I don't think he brought immortal flower. Is not online. Um, he just has to take three to life, and there's nothing he can do, which is uh, not ideal to take this early on. Yeah. Okay. And he's ending his turn with a bulwark. Um, so yeah. This is a little... Um, mm, it's going to be really hard for Eternal to turn this around. But let's see what he can draw. Um, something worth mentioning is he is worth low on aura. So yeah, and this draw is pretty good, right? Because he can F1 in Swing Rush, which isn't terrible. Um, however, we know in his hand this is going to get bulwarked. So the after attack won't trigger, and that will be um, it for Eternal Peanut's uh, available attacks. Um, he could go for the Eternal Migrant, but it won't be doing um, life damage most likely. Or actually, Jay could probably just take this to life, honestly, if he does the Eternal Migrant, which isn't... Yeah, so he's going to go for the Swing Rush here, and it is going to get bulwarked. Um, Let's see if he moves up or anything to try to counter the quash. He does not. It's okay, though. Bulwark is a flexible card. So Bulwark cancels the Swing Rush. So now he has an option if he wants to do anything. He could actually Wind into Eternal Migrant. Oh, no, he didn't bring Wind. What the hell did he bring? Flower, Migrant, and... Um, oh, yeah, the Reaction. So, yeah, this is just... Um, yeah, actually, he would have Winded first if he had it, which he obviously doesn't. Um, so he could have migrant here to reshuffle the deck, but said it's not super good. Um, but he would probably, I'm not sure, don't know if Jay would take this to life or not. Maybe it is worth it. Maybe he doesn't want to drop to zero aura and he would just take it to life. And in that case, okay, so he does opt for it. Let's see what he chooses. Okay, yeah, he drops, he just takes this to aura. Okay, he does get to reshuffle his deck. He does get decent value out of the deck reshuffle. Um, Oh, I'm dumb. I wasn't full screen. That's why I couldn't see anything. Okay. I can see a lot better now that I'm full screen. Um, all right, reshuffle. Uh, and um, I don't think he has anything else to do this turn. So I'm assuming Jay is... Oh, God. This game is... Um, yeah, it's happening. He's going to get another 3-2. He, he Obviously, the attack was on the bottom. It was his last two cards. So, And he doesn't even lose the aura. So even if he did lose the aura, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. But now it's... um, Yeah. This is... um. This is a, this is a match. Um... He could flower this. I almost feel he has to. Oh, no, he can't because he has four flare. Um, so, yeah, he's going to have to take this 3-2 to life. Um, not much he can do about it. Um, hopefully, on his next cards, he'll pull some attacks to start you know, turning the tide. Potentially, um, actually, he does have a good pull here. Um, if he pulls the 1-3 attack, uh, let's see if they um, opts to discard this. Um, can, I, can you highlight the reaction, please, on Jay's side? Uh, opponent's flare. Oh, we could react with that. Flare is... If your opponent's flare is less than or equal to... It will not be. Oh, so he doesn't even... He doesn't pull the attack, though. So, yeah. So even if the one... Oh, no, the one three has no reactions. So, yeah, if he would have pulled that, that actually would have been a really good pull for um, Peanut, but he did not. So, not not good draws there. But a Glancing Strike is okay. Um, he does get a life damage here. 
Um, so it's not the worst thing ever. Oh, what's the turrets resurge? How did it resurge? I thought it had to do something with units. Does it not? So yeah, it does glancing strike here. But um, so he's gonna have to take this life. But how did the um how did the three one attack resurge? Uh, how did the uh, three one attack resurge? The resurgence mm -hmm. condition is that you play a card with terminal, and the old card has terminal. That's pretty good. So he does actually end up reacting with this. This is interesting to me, um, because I don't really feel like it achieved much. Oh, you know what? The reason he reacted with it, yeah, but this is okay. This is kind of weird. So this is actually an interesting play. The reason he's doing this, I believe, is to play around the one three attack. But the issue is, is that I feel like in most situations, if you had the one three attack, you would have played it first. So in a way, I feel like he kind of had a read that he didn't have the one three attack. So I kind of felt that this was a little odd because um, now he's going to have to reshuffle on um, an odd number or seven cards. So he's going to have one card at the bottom. So I really don't know how much value this really got. If if he didn't rip the 1-3 first, that probably means he doesn't have it, which means you're probably just safe to hold the card. So I'm um, not super sure about playing that reaction there. Um, don't really feel it was um, worth. But it does give him... Um, nah. He gets Bulwark. And quash. Not a good hand. At all. This is actually kind of bonkers to me. He literally just would have died, I think, if he would have drawn the right cards. So, Eternal Peony here playing rather aggressively, but he doesn't have a life lead. So, kind of sitting in a really deadly range for Yatsuha R4. Uh, without a way to deal with these massive attacks the Yatsuha is bringing is a little, little odd. Um, of course, now Jay's going to be on the lookout for setting up the Yatsuha finisher. Um, he's getting close to the flare that he needs, but I still think he's a little bit of ways off for he even honestly needs to do it. He just, he just passes here, um, handshaking the range. The reason he's handshaking the range here is to get more value out of quash. It is a little bit riskier, right? Because he does force himself out of lower ore. Um, but he does end up, um, getting one in the process. So I guess it's not the worst thing ever, but he also has the cancel that he's kind of playing with as well. So I'm assuming we're going to see the Swing Rush come down, but he, he kind of has all of them. Quash is not a terminal card. So it's one of the few reactions that Mizuki have that actually isn't terminal. So this forces, this is going to force um, a peanut to back up to play around Quash, but he hasn't played around it earlier, so I wonder if he's going to play around it now. Because if he starts this with a Swing Rush, he's going to get Quash, and then he can't even Hilt Swim because then he'd get bored. So this is, okay, he does change the range here. This is actually very smart. This is the best way to do this, because now the quash won't work, and if he plays the hilt slam, um, he could bulwark this, but then he won't be able to get out of the swing rush. Wait, what? He just does the one aura that doesn't cancel. Okay. He plays the bulwark. Okay. So it's terminal now, so now he can out, he can go into the swing rush. Um, he will have to burn an aura to do it, which, I mean, burn a vigor, I mean, to do it, and an aura for the swing rush to go off which isn't the worst thing. So you could just discard a card or burn the Vigor to lose an aura and go to R4. No, that doesn't go off. It's canceled. Like 90% sure. Um, yeah, so he maybe he'll discard the Rabbit Step. Oh. Wait. But you could have discarded it and retreated one. Wait. Wait. You don't... But, but, why not go to idea? Oh, okay, okay, thank God. Do something, please. Just focus one. Just focus one. Yeah, I wouldn't have done it this way, but it doesn't matter. Just focus one. Okay, there we go. So you just focus one. And the um, Swing Rush probably will come down here. And Jay will actually have to take it. Um, I, I can see him just going two to life. I think two to life is fine. I don't think he needs to take one to Ori here. Yeah, agreed. I think this is the right play. Um, let's 
uh, yeah. Let's see. Um, is this lethal? I feel like this is lethal. I don't want to count, but oh my god, he's gonna get oh my god, is he gonna get three reflections? Oh, this is disastrous. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three. Oh my wait, no, just advance one in reflection rip, right? What? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's six to seven. What? Just advance one. Then focus and then rip the thing. And you get to do the other thing afterwards. That's like a three. What am I? Am I? Am I dumb? Can't he just have advanced one, focus one? It would have had three reflections. Okay, I mean this kills anyway, but still, this is only two reflections. He could have had three. Why did he focus? So he gets flower weird here. Oh, is this like a smarter way to do it because of flower? So now he has now the reflections. So he doesn't get his flower out of him. Probably should just end up closing the gap here a little bit better, right? So he can rip that all out. I mean, oh gosh, I just realized he doesn't have a way to conscript units. He's playing Mizuki without the unit aspect. Or soldiers, rather. That's kind of interesting. I would have liked to have seen the throughout that conscripts units over one of the Yatsuha reactions. I think it would have given some more versatility. But yeah, I mean, it does get flowered. Yeah, there, there's no way that the, the reaction was going to get flowered. But I guess in that situation, if you're playing around flower, then you just start with the Astral Claw with all the reflections lined up. Are you discarding it? Why? It's kind of like, okay. I mean, we can go this way too. It's just a. It is a three-two, I believe. I mean, this is fine, but I mean, I wish like I feel like that turn could have gone a lot more favorable for Jay. Um, she would have started out with the the smaller attack, maybe forced out the flower, then and then rip the other one, the major special, because he couldn't have afforded to take it. That that card in his hand was was that was that the reflection attack that he had? Um, do you know? Not that one. The one he discarded. Was it the reflection attack or was it the 3-2 attack? I believe that was the reflection attack. Yeah, I don't know. That was really weird. Then, If it was the reflection attack, then I really wish he just would have started with that. Because it would have been... He would have forced out a flower that way, too. And then he could have just done the special. like, and, that, and instead, like he just didn't get value off the reflection attack. Which, I mean, he could have... Ooh. But, I mean... Wait, what? Why? Are you just using that to go to R4? Okay. But, now what? Wait, what? I mean, okay. So this is a 1-3. He's just going to take this to Aura. What is this? What's this last card? I don't even remember. Wait, that doesn't work the way you think it does. I'll end your phase. You have to use it as a reaction. I mean, okay, I see. He's setting up his special, so he'll um, end his phase. Uh, it's not the worst thing ever, I guess. Yeah, so in this way, that if he plays the um, the card, if Jay doesn't move and get an aura here, then it will make it to where he can um, essentially cancel um, his turn. But I think it's going to be in a way where it's not as impactful as it could be. Um, so Jay's, what does Jay have left? Jay still has the turret left. I'm assuming we're going to see that come down this turn. And this could just get um, canceled. Well, now I go down to one aura and then it skips his turn. Which I don't feel like Jay would be super sad about that. Um, that's probably what he should do. Is just probably start with the 3-1. Uh, I don't think anything else makes sense. Yep, so three one comes down. So I'm assuming we're gonna see the reaction. Which will um make it down to one aura. And then he loses the rest of his turn. Yep, here it comes. It costs one aura. Wow, that's actually really good.
Ouais. Ouais. Oh, I I have it in reverse. Never mind. That's not the way the card works. I thought it was okay. I thought it was completely different. Okay. Well, this still isn't terrible for Jay. I thought if it, I, I don't know what I thought actually. I thought if he dropped his aura to zero using that attack, then it would cancel, not his own aura. Okay, that makes the card a lot worse. It's still not bad, but I was, oh my gosh, he can win. I'm gonna lose it. Oh no, he didn't pull it. He didn't pull it. Oh my god. If that outclass would have oh no 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 wait. That would have gone to one. Yeah, that would have been a three damage to life. Yeah, because it would have been three damage to life, which wouldn't have been enough. But yeah. So he discards the thing, goes the one aura. I'm assuming he's gonna try to use this to back up to get the glancing strike. Oh, he passes. All right, this is dead. This is death. Pass. This is death. Well, guys, it was a um pretty interesting game. I'm assuming Jay isn't gonna myth lethal, and we're gonna go to R four, and then he's gonna hit him with three two, and then he's not gonna have any reactions, and he also has no specials that will get him out of this. Um, okay. Yeah, we can do this this way too. Okay. And um, we're just going to find a way to R4. Oh, it's in 3 to 4. Is that the 3 to 4 one? It is the 3 to 4 one. The reflection one is the only of the 4 one. So, yep, he doesn't even need to back up. 3 to 4, 3 2, no reactions. And this should be the it for Peanut. I don't think he has what he needs. He does not. And Jay takes the match. Uh, very interesting match. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's it.